Belgium, of course, taking to the field for the first time in this edition of the most prestigious festival in world football. No doubt looking for a performance to set a tone. There's his great vocal support. There are many, many who have travelled to watch them, and every one of those supporters willing them to give everything back for the cause. It is beautifully set here. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Everybody standing for the national anthem of Croatia. Well, that was impressive. Match that. Day one, and everybody eager to get off to a good start. Yes, and that's very apparent, Peter. Competition football is a different beast entirely, and you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. We're underway. Chip, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Toby Alderweireld. He's rock solid at the back, Peter, with all the physical. Goes for goal! And he's there to hoof it away. Talking as up. Denier. And here's Azar. Michelko. Vida. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Chaletta Shah. Out to the left it goes. Rebic is up to meet it! No, oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Belgium can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Tielemans. Azar. Carrasco. Now the cross. What a throw in. Good take, and he's had a look. Veselko tries to get it forward quickly. Kovacic. Rebic. No change to the score. Nil-nil it remains. Rebic gets up to head it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Oh, what a great leap. He had no right to get to that. Carrasco, he's on a run down the left wing. Perisic. 
Rebic. Brozovic pings it out wide. Has a goal! Then Donka. Hoists it forward. And helps available out wide. De Bruyne, Tielemans, then Donka. Oh, real danger here. Ferreira Carrasco delivers. And it's De Bruyne. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Vida plays it forward. Perisic looking to get on the end of this. Going for goal! Tielemans. A chance! Goal! Croatia! A goal at a really telling moment. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Gets wrestled off the ball. And we've reached half-time. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. And the game has already resumed here. Belgium don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. Kovacic. Pereira Carrasco breaks on here, tries to dink it in. Too much on it, and that's the keepers. He's made sure that that won't get through. Rebic. Modric. Lukaku. Torgan Azar. Then Donka. Belgium still this single goal behind. Carrasco going full tilt down the left. Chaletta Shah can get it clear. Carrasco not one to pass up the chance to run up the defence. He loves those duels. It opened up really nicely when the defence got all tentative then. Uh, they were cautious in making contact, but safe in numbers. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. He certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Well, I think the referee would have told him to raid it in or, or suffer the consequences. Battles to win it back. Perisic is fouled.
Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Modric. In the end, they found themselves penned in. Nowhere to go. He's got options out wide. Carrasco. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Hazard with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Livakovic gets it upfield. Now it's Modric. Perisic has it in a wide position. So massive lead! That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Croatia had a couple of goals without reply. It's 2 0. Oh, great defending, that needed doing. Rebic. Well, you don't go down without a fight, and the sooner that message can circulate through the team, the better. The scoreline is, is a little ugly at the moment. It's imperative now that they, they grab the next goal. Carrasco looks to drop one in. Toletta Shah who is there and he can. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Has a hit! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Croatia are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift. And here's Mertens. Mertens. Perisic, he does have an assist to his name. Clears it out of harm's way. Then Donka. And here's Mertens. It's Mertens! to injury time! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through them. That was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Belgium give them... And that's it. It's not quite the end of the world, but it doesn't help. The defeat in the first game. Now they need to turn it round and recover over the rest of the group stage. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Listen, sometimes going into chase mode can bring out the best in teams, and we're about to discover if this one has the substance.